everybody just wants the gun to go off. And once the gun goes off, all the nerves subside and you're just zoned in and ready to race. You can be just as in shape as the guy next to you on the line, but if you're not as mentally strong as him, you're probably not, you're probably not gonna win, you're gonna lose. And so I wanted to help my own team learn those mental skills in order to improve their mental fitness. So wherever you guys are in your head, don't snap out of it yet. Wherever you guys are in the race, just take a little bit of time now and imagine yourself finishing. I'm, I'm Jay Kluver, I'm a junior here at UMD. I'm uh, on the cross country and track and field teams and I'm also an exercise science major with a psychology minor. With exercise science, I've always wanted to work with athletes, um, helping them improve their physical performances. Um, and psychology, you know, gives me the opportunity to kind of help them with a little bit more of the mental side of training. There's a lot of factors that can come into play with you know, being in college, there's a lot of pressure on collegiate athletes to perform and to succeed, whether they are receiving scholarship or not. There, there, there's still a lot of pressures, um, you know, from coaches, parents to perform, and you know, we're trying to help them with that anxiety, with that pressure through these mental skills. And remember those things that you're going to be saying to yourself, because it happens in every race. And it can happen in practice too, whether you're having a good day or a bad day. Those little sayings can, you know, turn your whole mindset around. It can turn your whole workout or race around as well. We have. Two variables that we're measuring in our questionnaires, we're actually measuring uh, individuals' perceived self-confidence as well as their anxiety levels pre and post competition. Um, and we're kind of hoping that the visualization and the goal setting will reduce that anxiety while improving their confidence. So those are the specific variables and then we're also looking at how their overall physical performances progress as the season goes on. We had, I think it was eight individuals um, set lifetime bests and a few of them set season bests as well in their in their conference marks and now coming into the outdoor season a lot of them have had strong performances already i can only hope that that part of that success was from our our skills intervention you know being in in that group myself uh, i felt like there was a need for it i felt like i had the opportunity to help some people and, and if this research can help people down the road that's kind of the goal is to basically start a trend and to um, you know, just improve the overall knowledge. As a student here, you know, you normally don't get to do this type of uh, work. You don't get to work with real athletes, putting these skills into practice until you're an actual professional. So to be able to do that now with the goal of doing it as a career is, uh, is really amazing. As of right now, I have, I have an internship lined up for the summer with uh, a sports psychology firm in Edina, and they work with the Gophers and all the professional sports teams here in Minnesota. It's very exciting. I am. Thrilled. <laughs> go! Let's go, 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 go! To give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. And I kind of think about that a lot in regards to life and in regards to competition, too. I'm given this opportunity to compete. I've been given this opportunity here at UMD to be here and to, to do my best. Um, so I feel kind of the, the, uh, like the need to do that and the need to, to give my best. I mean, why? Why would I not try to be as successful as possible in all kind of in all my, all my endeavors?